the lap joint charge of construction. Again, we have two six inch legs, but this time we're actually gonna make a lap and I have a side view so we can reference it too. As you can see here, we come over with a board and this dotted line is a lap from the board on, on the bottom coming underneath it. Then you look here on the side, this end of this board here, you see the end of that wood and then this piece is all one and this little joint here going underneath is indicated by that hidden line. But for doing this one, as you see, we're having an inch and a half, inch and a half, and an inch and a half thick. So this time we're gonna use a two by two instead of a two by four. And I'm gonna pre-draw some of this on the wood so that you actually see where it's gonna go. Again, we're at six inches. We're gonna have to cut those. We're going to take the six inch block and we're going to put a little piece out of it to make a lap. For the plan, we're going to come up three quarters of an inch and come over an inch and a half. That's the piece we're going to cut out. I'm going to put a reference mark on this other side because I'm going to need to set the depth of the table saw. This is what we're going to cut out on the table saw. So we got to do a little saw. I'm going to cut on the miter saw, and then we're going to do a little setup on the table saw. I'm gonna transfer my reference to this piece here so I know how far to cut. It helped me give me a visual reference when I line these pieces up. Now I've got to do a little modification to my table saw. We're gonna take the fence off, we're gonna put this, um, our slide box. Now we've got to set the depth on this. And I'm going to use the reference that I drew here, and I'm going to set my blade so that it just comes up and touches right there on that line. I'm going to use this reference mark on the side to make my initial cuts with my sled. I can use this line, this in the sled group in the sled box here, because that's where the actual edge of the blade is. I'll make sure everything lines together, then I'm going to start making my cuts. Move it over just slightly, about an eighth of an inch. Hold it down. Make another.
Here's my two laps. Gonna make a joint as so. Now look at this, it looks like I need to cut them back just a little bit deeper. I'm gonna look and see how close they line up. Gotta go another depth. Probably one more pass will get me there. All right, looks like I got them there. I'm back to my plan on my lap joint. I've got my top leg and I got my bottom leg. I'm just going to join them together with a screw. Here is my lap joint. <laughs> 